been here this whole time um i'll be honest i filmed three different videos and they didn't go up so i'm hoping this one does we're doing ipsies ipsy and boxy charm because you know the merger here so i'm gonna quickly just go through these i have not looked at them they are still sealed this is the normal ipsy oh my goodness did they change bags this is harder to get into the normal if you're not following me on tiktok i do daily uploads so i've been posting these on there the bag is beautiful and silk, but not your typical Ipsy bag. Did they change it? Did something just fall out? Nope, that's my camera cover. So there's not a normal zipper bag, which I'm fine with. I don't need a bag at all. They could just put it in the outside bag, that'd be fine. Okay, the first thing is Elf. Have we ever had Elf in an Ipsy? I like Elf. I'm wearing Elf right now. Um, Power Grip Primer with 4% niacinamide. So the niacinamide, Brightens the look of dullness and provides effortless glow. So you could wear this by yourself, which is probably what I would use, of course. I just don't wear makeup anymore because, you know, allergies and stuff. Um, I am wearing a little concealer on a couple massive zits, though. I did just start Flow Vitamins. I'm hoping that helps with, like, hormonal breakouts. Uh, this liquid cool water-resistant liquid eyeliner in the color liquid cool i just said that okay, i'm assuming it's a charcoal i've actually never used a charcoal eyeliner before i always just go with black by factory we have a blending brush b9 it's just an eyeshadow brush i always have a million so like these things i'll probably just pass on to friends to be honest uh mud masky vitamin a booster french clay mask Pore refining, smoothing, firming, tightening, clarifying. So just a little sample size of it. Actually, now that I'm thinking of it, we have three full sizes in the Ipsy bag. That makes no sense. That's not normal. That's that's good. And then lastly, by Lottie London, we have a quad eyeshadow palette in the rose gold. I want to say we got something similar to this in like last one of last year's boxes or something. Cause this looks so familiar. Or it's just because they're just neutrals and beautiful that I'm thinking I've seen it before. I don't know. That is nice. Oh, I wish my eyes could like withstand makeup because I miss it so much. Okay, that's all for the Ipsy bag. They did send a refreshments bag in the creator box and refreshments is owned by Ipsy. I found that out recently. So they gave us a Dazzlin five blade razor kit. I've had their razors before. They are really good, I like them. I haven't actually purchased them on my own. I would, I just like never think of, oh, hey, let me order a razor online. I just usually get out of the store. Baby is in the background listening to some music. <laughs> so it just comes with two blades. And I have this exact handle. Recommend if you are someone that purchases your razors online. And then they gave us the pillowy shave cream and citrus spritz with it, which I used their shave cream. I don't think it was this scent before, and I did really like it. And moving on, lastly, to our boxy charm, which used to be called. Wait, no, it is called boxy charm. Used to, it. Bibi, mm. Bibi. Moving on to our boxy charm, used to be called Glam Bag Plus. Has all full size products in it. This is always my favorite for getting skincare. Come here. First thing, we have a Lucky Chick Lip and Cheek Multi-Stick in Lucky Days as the color. And it is, ooh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. There's some weird discoloration happening. I think it has some like veining in it, kind of like marble effect. It's really pretty though. I've been loving using uh, cream blush on my cheeks, so I feel like I would actually use this, whereas even maybe a couple months ago, I would have looked at that and been like, nah, I'm passing that on to someone else. Ooh, Natasha Denona Fez palette. Now, I got an email saying that one of the colors has been coming in broken, and if that's the case, just pop it out. Yep, okay, yep. So here it is. It's just a very summery, 
like color palette. This one is broken, so I can just pop that guy out. I guess they sell singles that you can actually just like put a new one in and it fits in here. So I probably won't do that, <laughs> but I could if I wanted. I do love Natasha Denona. This is like an awesome brand and definitely a good find for having in an Ipsy. Even with the broken eyeshadow, I have like a million colors that look similar to that. <laughs> so by Verb, uh, Ghost Exfoliating Scalp Nectar. I like this brand a lot. It's at Sephora. I bought it before, like many sample sizes. It's a really nice brand. It is kind of expensive though. This is supposed to clarify, refresh, and balance. Um, I don't, I do get oily, but like I shower every day because I go to the gym a lot. And even if I didn't, I'm just like, kind of OCD and can't not shower at night. So um, I don't get oily because I shower, I over shower. So this one maybe isn't like geared towards people that aren't typically oily, but I'm gonna use it and see if it works because again, that brand is really nice and I trust it. And like, there's something to say for that. If it doesn't work for me, I have a million other people it could work for. By Wing Me. Ooh, we've gotten a lot of eyeliners from them. This is a clear brow gel. My heart. That's every day. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I wear clear brow gel because this eyebrow will stick up like normal. Like it has a good look to it. And then this one's just like slumped. So we need that. And clear brow gels are so exp like stupidly expensive. Even e.l.f., which is what I use has been going up in price. It's like $6 now, it used to be $3. That's a lot of product too. So this will last me a while and I'm absolutely putting that in my bathroom ASAP. I just went through my e.l.f. one. I've been using a different one. Um, from another Ipsy, I get all my skincare from Ipsy and all my makeup from it. I don't go, um, my wedding makeup was the last thing I ever bought makeup for and before that it would have been years before. Vitamin C by Rodile, Ro Rodeo Rodile Brightening Cleanser. I've said this a million times, vitamin C is like my skin's favorite thing. It thrives on it. I get acne so much and this does not give me breakouts and it doesn't, well, I get hormonal breakouts, but I get a lot of breakouts from products and this has never given me a non-hormonal breakout, if that makes sense. I ramble sometimes. I'm a, well, Point is, I'm excited to try this and I am literally two washes away from going through my other cleanser right now. So I think that's a sign to also put this in my bathroom immediately. And that was everything. <sighs> Favorites. Favorite from, oh, this is hard. I don't know. I want to wear eyeshadow. If I could wear eyeshadow, the Natasha palette would be my favorite um, because it looks really fun. But practicality wise, my favorite and most exciting thing is gonna go up to the clear brow gel. Um, although I am excited for that cheek color too. Cause like I'm wearing that right now. I had a barbecue to go to today. It just makes, gives me a little extra to make me feel put together. Um, and it doesn't get in my eyes, which is also a bonus. And my favorite from the standard Ipsy bag is going to go to... I'm kind of excited to try this e.l.f. primer. So yes, this one and then the Wing Me brow gel. Let me know what you got in your glam bag or boxy charm. It's getting confusing, but I'm starting to understand it now uh, just because of all the changes. And I will see you if you like, do you like these videos? Let me know, uh, add me on TikTok if you wanna see more things, short-term content. Is that what you call it? Short, short, short time content, whatever. Anyways, love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and goodbye.